The acts of our fathers, the apostles, their holy blessings be with us all, amen. But at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of, the, of this life. And when they heard that, they entered the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest and those with him came and called the council together with all the elders of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to, the, to have them brought. But when the officers came and did not find them in the prison, they returned and reported, saying, Indeed, we found the prison shut securely and the guards standing outside before the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, the 13th day of the blessed month of Abib, may its blessing be with us all, Amen. To the departure of St. Pesetius, Bishop of Keith, on this day, the Holy Father, Amber Pesetius, Bishop of Keith, departed. The saint became a monk in his early years and devoted himself to ascetic life and learned the church books. He never looked upon the face of a woman. Once a woman who had a serious sickness waited until he came out of the church and drew near to him to kiss his hand, for her belief was that if she, she would be healed. When he saw that she was getting close to him, he walked faster. And since she was unable to catch him, she took a handful of dust upon which his feet had trodden and placed it on the side of her plane, and she was healed. When he was ordained a bishop, he used to see the angels fluttering their wings around the altar while he was celebrating the divine liturgy. He was eloquent in his sermons. No one became weary of listening to his teachings. When the Lord informed him that his departure drew near, he gathered his people, taught them, and strengthened them in the faith. Then he departed in peace. God manifested many miracles from his body. His disciple took a piece of his shroud, which healed many of, of the sick. On this day, Saint Apamon was martyred. He was from the city of Tanut, the diocese of ba Bana, the angel Michael appeared to him and commanded him to go to Ancina and confess Christ. He went and he confessed the Lord Christ before Eucius, the, the governor. He tortured him much with the press, the wheel, the red hot iron bed, and by whipping him with whips. Then he cast him on the hot cauldron. In all of that, the Lord strengthened and raised him up sound. He was worthy for the Lord Christ to appear to him and promise him the kingdom of heaven. This saint performed many signs and miracles. When they cut off his head, he received his crown of martyrdom. Saint Julius L. Akafisi was present, took his body, shrouded it with the costly shrouds, and sent his body with two men to his hometown. This day also marks the martyrdom of Saint Shinoda. He was a righteous man, keeping the Christian commandments that was in the early days of the Arab conquest of Egypt. Some of the enemies laid an accusation against him before the Muslim ruler. He brought, he brought him and asked him to leave his faith, but he refused. He proudly declared his faith in the Lord Christ. The ruler became enraged, tortured him, and finally cut off his head, and he received the crown of martyrdom. May his prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen. Agios Athanatos, and Parthenon Geneti, Sony Massagios, Theos, Agios and Shedos, Agios Athanatos, Stavaro, Fisdim, and Seneti, 
Jesus Christ, our God, who sit this saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel. Through the pure of your sins. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have asked us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, report them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. And, 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 Stand up in the fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew. May is only blessed. Be with us all. From the Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Blessed are the blameless in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies, they will diligently seek him with the whole heart. Blessed 
is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, our God, our Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever. time the disciples came to Jesus saying who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven and Jesus called a little child to him set him in the midst of them and said assuredly I say to you unless you are converted and become as little children you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses, for offenses must come, but woe to the man by whom the offense comes. And if your hand or foot causes you to sin, Cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, Pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. It is very pleasing and very teaching lesson today that we come to the Lord with the disciples and ask him the same question. Who is the greatest? We don't care much as Christians who is the greatest. But sometimes these questions come to us and ask us, who is the greatest? And I will tell you in few minutes, very few minutes, that the greatest are those who follow Christ and hold his actions. I'm imagining a child waking up either where I was brought up or any place I was brought up into. And there is so many places. I'm imagining this child wake up in the morning smiling. Why smiling? Because he thanked God for everything. The children usually forget about everything the day before 
and they start a new life. And this is how Christ wants us to start a new life. To laugh at everyone. Forget about the laugh of the body, but to have the spirit of laughing, the spirit of being a brother and sister to everybody around you. Because sometimes we care so much about how we look. But the most important thing is how we look from inside. So I'm imagining, I'm imagining that a child is waking up in the morning and say, wow, thank you, Lord. Yesterday, it seems a day will not ever finish. But today, I see it, it is full of hope. And this is how we start and how we should start our days always. Let us remember that we start our days thanking God for the new day. And thank God. How many days do we have every year? Either 365 or either 366. Many days. Every day we have a new day. Then when it comes the hour of the noon, we remember the cross of Jesus. We remember the cross of Jesus. And at that time, we don't remember the death of Jesus, but we remember the cross. Why? Because on the cross, we find the salvation. So imagine yourself have been solved, and Jesus paid for you whatever he had to pay. He came, was crucified for us, and later on, he did pay. How did he pay? By his death. And we look at the death with joy, not looking on the death with sadness. And in the evening, we come to the time of Resting. Everybody of us, after we eat our dinner, we eat your dinner and take a walk. And thank God for whatever he gave you during this day. Whether he gave you cheese to eat, whether he gave you meat to eat, whether he gave you fruits to eat, thank God for whatever he gave you. Because there are so many days you are going to eat. Let us thank God for whatever he gave us. And if you look around you, you will find a lot of people smiling. Why smiling? Because you come into church? Maybe. But they are more smiling because they feel they are in the hands of God. And in the evening, we come to the time of rest to the morning. So we come at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and we go to sleep while we are saying, thank you, Lord. You have given me a good day. Let me thank you for the good day you have given me to start a new life when you wake me up in the morning, either very early morning like 5 o'clock or morning later at 6 or 7 o'clock or morning later at 9 or 11 o'clock. Whatever time you give me, to wake up in, but let me thank you for that, because you are the most wonderful person 
I have ever met. This is the greatest. So the question was for the Lord, who is the greatest? And the Lord told them, the greatest is the one who thank God for everything he has given to them. Remember that. Who is the greatest? The real greatest is those who thank God for everything. Let us thank God for everything he has given to us. And let us also remember that whoever thank God for everything he has given to us will be always thankful. We will be always thankful. So let us start the new day thinking, let us thank God. And let us cross through our day thanking God for everything he has given us. Whether it was a very difficult examination or a very simple examination. Let us thank God for that. And let us remember to thank God always. As we say, always. We say thank you, Lord, in everything, in whatever things. Let us say thank you, Lord. And let us start our life thanking the Lord. And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, the true God of true God, begotten, not created, coessential of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy universal apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the mission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the angels to come. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
Stand for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. O God, the great, the eternal, who formed man in incorruption, and death which enter into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed it by the life-forgiven manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill towards man. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic kisses. Lord, have mercy. According to your goodwill, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all malice, and the remembrance of evil entailing death, and make us all worthy, our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, so that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of immortal and heavenly gift. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord, who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer an order, stand with trembling, look toward the east, let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have risen and sinned. And the summer seat of peace, a sacrifice of, of, of praise. The Lord be with you all. And with your <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. We have them with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is me. Right, meet right, truly indeed. It's meet and right, O you, the being Master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwell in the highest and look on the lowly, who have created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father, for our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who sits on the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are he around whom is ten the cherubim full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously 
without ceasing saying, Let us attend. Thy cherubim worship you, and thy seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your holy glory. Agios, Agios, Echoab, holy, holy indeed, O Lord our God, who formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deception of the serpent, we fell from the eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days, you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man. And taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself and assembled the people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who are in the world and gave himself up for our salvation unto death which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He appointed a day for recompense and which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deed. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. He instituted for us this great mystery of godliness for being determined to give himself up to death for the life of the uh, world. We may he 
took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot, without a blemish. Blessed a life given. We believe that this is true. Looked up toward heaven to you, O God, who are his Father and Master of everyone, when he had given thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. And he sanctified it. disciples and saintly apostles saying take eat of it all of you for this is my body which shall be broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do a remembrance of me this is true Likewise also the cup, after supper he mixed it of wine and water when he had given thanks. Sanctified Amen. Again, we believe, we confess, and we glory. Tested, gave it also to his saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. This do a remembrance of me. This is also true. Amen. For every time you shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me until I come back. Amen, amen, amen. Your death, O oh Lord, we do preach you. Ascension, we confess, we praise you, we bless you, thank you, Lord, and we supplicate you. As we all commemorate.
Christ, his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his setting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heaven, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in every Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. And this bread he makes into his holy body. I believe. Amen. And this cup also, the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. Oh, amen. Our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy our master to partake of your holies and to the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirit, that we may become one body and one spirit, and we may have a shared inheritance with all the saints who are pleased in the Remember, O Lord, the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church. Oh, 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 God. Lord, have mercy. This which you have acquired to self with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Peter Kaaba, Tawadro II, High Priest, Pope of Otoazus uh, II, Pope and Patriarch of, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and for our Orthodox Bishops. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly divine the word of truth with him, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hogomenes priests and deacons. Pray for the Hogomenes priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants who are in virginity, the purity of your faith will be ever remember, O Lord. To have mercy on us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the one to Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place, and every place, and every monastery, of our Orthodox Fathers. 
day for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and of all cities, districts, districts islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's faith, graciously accord the Lord the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, the plants of the field this year. Bless them. Pray for the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field, that Christ our God may bless them, have compassion on his creation, which his hands have made, and forgive us our <coughs> sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Read them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its fury be abundantly water and its fruit be plentiful. Be prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our life as you deem fit. Plead the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone waiting on you, for you give them their food in due season, Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give forth to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we to having sufficiency in everything always may abound, in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy, precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, have mercy. As this, O Lord, the command of your only begotten Son, that to share the commemoration of your saints, graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased in the beginning, our Holy Father, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in faith, most of all the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, and to Mary, who truly give birth to God the Logos, and Saint John, the foreign and perhaps and martyr, Saint Stephen, the archdeacon, and the proto-martyr, the beholder of God, Saint Mark, the evangelist, the apostle and martyr, the patriarch, Saint Severus, our teacher, discourse, Saint Athanas, the apostolic, Saint Peter, the holy martyr and high priest, Saint John Christian, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the theologian, Saint Gregory, the wonder work, and Saint Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints, Abba Macari, and all their children, the cross-bearers, our father, Abba John, the Hogemin, our righteous father, Abba Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through the prayer and supplications, have mercy on us all, and save us for the sake of holy name, which is called on us. Those who, read. those who read, recite the names 
of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. <laughs> Glory be to you, 
and those whose names you have not mentioned, those whom each one has in mind, and those who are not in our minds, and those who have fallen asleep and reposed in the faith of Christ. Grace, O Lord, to, remember, to reward the soul of your servants, our beloved Father, Bob Shenouda III, our beloved Father, Abu Nabishu Dimitri, but Father, Abu Nathophil Maharaki, Gracely, O Lord, Lord, remember the soul of your servant, Dr. Sylvia Gerges. Remember, O Lord, the soul of your servants, Gerges, Mert, Moros, Menir, Demian, William Gerges, Sabri, Saad, Maurice, Atiyah, Wadiyah, Lutfallah, Tamaf, Irini, Nadia, Anwar, Faiz, Awad, Samir, Atiyah, Mervat, Munir, Mary, Munir, Badi, Awad, Wadad, Saad, Saeed, Nasiba, Iskaris, أتينا إلياس وأتينا حنا ونسمى إبراهيم. Grace لو كرد الله تربوز all their souls. Grace لو كرد الله تربوز all their souls in the bosom of holy fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Pray for our father and brethren who have fallen asleep and repose in the face of Christ since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the archbishops, our fathers, the bishops, our fathers, the hegumenes, our fathers, the priests, our fathers, the deacons, our fathers, the monks, our fathers, the laymen, and for his sister, Sylvia Gerges, and for all, for repose, the Christian, that Christ our God may repose all their souls in the paradise of joy, and we to accord mercy unto and to us and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Thus, O Lord, the souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place, and we to so hard sojourn in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it was, so shall it be from generation. To generation and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lead us through the way into your kingdom. Lead us through the way into your kingdom. So that in all things your great and holy name be glorified. Blessed and exalted in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Again, let us give thanks to God. The Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now.
to stand up in this holy place, to lift up you our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Christ, the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen, pray. Lord, have mercy. Great and the eternal, wondrous in glory, keeping his covenant and his mercy to those who love him with all the